Welcome to part two here at King James VI course on an island in the middle of the Tay in Perth, Scotland. Let's see if I can do any better on the back nine. I was going to say it was a rubbish shot, but I genuinely just didn't have a clue how much I had to give that. I'm trying to play a little punch, 100 yards or so, under a tree, and bounce it up, etc, etc. So, just didn't play very well. It's not a shot of practice, not a shot I know, and it shows. That's rubbish. Absolutely rubbish. Lag putting's good. Not holding any though. That's nah, woeful, but it's. No, it's just woeful. Okay, so as you can hear, the uh, the sound is gone, so I'm just going to voice over it for the rest of the episode. Um, I'm actually going to try and do it in one continuous take and see what happens. So that was me shouting four uh, and waving to the people on the next tee. And you can't really see it, but we have another our little arboreal challenge. Uh, that uh, trunk has a, a massive foliage and branchage and stuff, so that was a nice little lob wedge over the top. And then, oh look, another part that leaves me a one footer for whatever it was, six knit bogey. Yeah, not great. Um, I don't really remember this hole, so it's interesting watching it. Yeah, another decent shot, another tree. Okay, this is kind of the, uh, well, just every shot at the moment, every hole more or less. Another little punch under the tree. Uh, that one was quite good though, I think, from what I remember. Yep, found the green, putt for a birdie. Will it, will it, will it? It wouldn't be silly. Um, I really should have went around and counted up how many one inch putts or two inch putts I had, but I don't really care. Okay, little par three. This is an interesting one because uh, there's a massive flood barrier just in front of the green, which is why I'm giving it I don't know where that went. Luckily, it was pretty decent, just a tad short and left. And then that was fairly nicely played, quite happy with that. Chance for a par. Boom, baby. Okay, I think that actually started a bit more straight and curved, but I wasn't doing too well with the old shot tree set. And that ended up in thick, thick rough. Found it, I uh, had to take a drop, so that's me playing three out, which, again, flood barrier, I couldn't actually even see myself. Um, another little pitch on four. Chance to save something despite some uh, pretty rubbish golf. Nope, two inch putt. Ooh, cheeky little backhander. On to the 15th. Nice different little angle there for you. Decent drive. Fish shot the green. So what do you do? Yep, that. Decent shot out. And all of a sudden I've got this nine footer to try and save par which I'll leave a couple of inches short. Right, this is a funny one. You might not even be able to see me. I'm right in the middle of the frame. Um, we went to the wrong tee and then realized that the white tee was about, I don't know, 150 yards back further down. So smashed a brilliant drive, though, probably my best of the day. And then squaffed that, pulled it way left, straight into the pocket to play another one. And another little arboreal challenge. I can't say that. I think twice I've got fluffed to that arboreal challenge, um, but yeah. Almost found the green. Wonder what's going to happen here. 
Yep. You can see that's what up to four over now. That's net, remember, not great. This is really sad as well. This was only a couple of days after um, I had my 75 at Balcomi, so quite disheartening. I think my head went as well because it was such a such changed days. Another little pitch on, and it just kept rolling away. What's also interesting about this is that this was. Um, my last round before Lytham, I've talked about it a few times in the episode already, um, and it's this is such a parkland course, it's not even funny how much of a parkland course this is, uh, compared with the um, the links that we had been playing, so all these little chips, I mean I played lots and lots because I was missing the greens, hang on, have to interrupt to tell you about this drive, don't watch Shot Tracer, watch the map on the right, because it bounded off a tree and ended up in the middle of the fairway. It was so gone, it was so out of bounds, it wasn't even funny, and it absolutely rattled. Oh, there we are, top it down the fairway. This is a really interesting hole from what I remember. I'm not going to remember what I was talking about two minutes ago, so uh, yeah. Massive drive out of bounds, bounces off a tree, top it. Now, that chip actually looks quite good, but it was thin as get out. If you could have the actual audio, you'd probably have heard a, a massive um, thin noise. Managed to duff it to there, and taps in for a birdie, well, net birdie to finish. Unbelievable, Jeff. Goodbye. So that's it from here at King James the Sixth. No idea what shot, no idea how good it was. Very mixed golf. Uh, so I will see you next week. Till then, be good if you can. Cheers.